Three rounds and 15 minutes if needed here in the UFC's ready, ready, loaded ready. Bantamweight division. Tonight. Sometimes it just takes a little bit for a fight to play out, but uh, kind of start slow. All right, here's when we're southpaw, southpaws, where he lands his outside leg kick. Right, boom. We do measure leg reach right now, and both of these guys from hip to foot have a longer leg reach. And that's the kick that hurt him right there. That's the one. And that's not my fault. I mean, I just throw it as hard as I could. Also, I'm not expecting that to happen again. I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. So I felt my foot go numb right here. The exact same, it was damn near the exact same feeling I felt when I broke my foot. You think he knew right away though? When he like, I don't know what he, I don't thing? know. He seems pretty stupid. Maybe, I don't think he did. The moment he fell to the ground like that, I was like, something is going on. But also, since I'm a reader, I was like, he could be playing, but there was something on his eyes, on his soul, that you're like, he was worrying about it. And... So it wasn't even, people are saying, oh, it's a crazy calf kick. Calf kick, when you land on the calf, they hurt. They're not fun, but uh, your foot doesn't go numb. Your calf kind of goes numb, and it is a weird feeling. It's not good, but you still can, you can still lift your foot like this. So when he kicked my nerve, the perennial nerve, I, I had drop foot. So my foot, every time I would walk forward, it would roll. Like, no, Something's wrong with O'Malley's yeah, leg. Right leg. I don't know what happened. Oh I really don't so know. I just, my f***ing, that nerve's just not coming back. Mm, still about f***ing dropped his ass. I told him good job. I mean, I'm f***ing with him. I mean, he can do all the f***ing around online, but I f***ing around here. See, look at this. Still piecing him up with one foot. And I go a step back. Oh, yeah, foot's not up. there. He fell down. We'll hear Don't about it in the corner if he gets there. Oh! oh! Huge elbow oh, from Chill! Oh, what a shot! Wow! Marlon Chito Dara stops the sugar show in round one. Oh, my goodness. Incredible! Oh, my goodness. I remember thinking, too, I was like, God, I think my foot is fing. Oh, yeah, that sucked. He was clearly down a limb. The ref wanted to make sure that the fighter was safe because of the foot. Like the the end, the finish. Yeah. Were you okay with it? I mean, it seemed like Herb kind of knew that you were injured, and maybe that that's why he made it. I a think quick there was a little finish. bit of that too. No. He did land a good elbow. It, it definitely rocked me, and I was just real upset. And I remember thinking he like he was his excitement was surprised. He's surprised he did it. Were you really satisfied after the fight? You, you, you felt like it was like, um, that was that was legit, satisfied, like everything? I'm cool, man, I mm. won the fight. Do say whatever you want, cry all you want. I don't give a f about your feelings or your, what you think. I just feel for, for Marlon Vera because I feel people are gonna try to take away what yes. he did and I don't believe that's necessary. The, the guy what, if anything, do you give credit, uh, Cheeto credit for in this fight? Um, he made weight, showed up, kicked my nerve, you know, did what he had to do. I've been fighting for so long that I'm like, skill for skill, I didn't lose this fight. How many, how many thousands of leg kicks happen every single year? Not just in the UFC, but in all the promotions. How many times does that happen? We keep talking about luck. God bless my luck. Not bad to be lucky. <laughs> Dude, I'd rather be lucky than be nobody. If he goes in there, you know, kicks the nerve again, and my fucking leg starts limping out like a noodle again, maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, ad admit, okay, <laughs> knows how to do that. But I feel like it might have been a little lucky. But and we all we get to see it play out March 9th in Miami.